friends, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this itty bitty octopus. I'm showing how it looks next to the octopus squish pattern. This is the original size and um, it takes about 20 minutes to complete from start to finish. This little one is only going to take about 10 minutes com to complete from start to finish and it's great to work up as a fast last minute gift for Valentine's Day or as party favors. So I'm going to show you how to crochet this little guy right now. I am using um, Hobby's Baby Snuggle yarn. I have a video review of this yarn if you'd like to check that out. Um, but it's a super bulky velvety yarn that is super plush and fun to work with. Now I'm using this yarn paired with a five millimeter crochet hook and let's get started. You're going to start off with two chains. So here's my slip knot and one chain, two chains. In the second chain from your hook, you're going to insert eight single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, oops. Five, six, seven, and eight. After you insert eight single crochets, you will have your first round made. We're going to move on to round two. For round two, we're going to increase all around, so that means put two single crochets in each stitch. You'll end up with 16 stitches. So in this first stitch, you're going to insert two. That's one, two, insert two into the next stitch, three, four, and increase all the way around. By the end of this round, you will have 16 stitches all the way around. And next, for rounds three and four, you're simply going to single crochet around. So insert one single crochet into every stitch. You might use a stitch marker to hold your place, or if you want to do it like me and just count and keep track of the number in your head, you're welcome to do that too. But we're gonna go around for two rounds, single crocheting um, all the way around. After you finish single crocheting all the way around um, for round three and four, you're going to now decrease all the way around for round five. So I'm going to use uh, what's called a invisible uh, decrease technique here. You can use regular decreases if you want, but if you want to do the invisible technique, just insert your hook into the front loop of the next stitch, then insert it again into the front loop of the next stitch. So that's two front loops. Pull through both loops and then pull through for a single crochet. I'm going to do that again for my next decrease. Going through both those front loops, pull through and then make a single crochet like normal. Here's my third decrease. Thank you. 
All right, there's eight decreases going all the way around now, and um, I'm also gonna flip my piece inside out, which I forgot to do earlier. You wanna make sure the right side is out and the wrong side is in. So if you forgot to flip, um, please do so. Oops, there's my starting yarn tail, which I need to pull through. All right. So here, um, after round five, you'll have your little octopus um, body formed and we're going to then work on the tentacles which are super quick and easy. For this next round the tentacles are going to be two chains. Oh sorry I'm going to show how to do a tentacle first. So a tentacle is two chains and then slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. After you do that you're going to slip stitch into the front loop of the same stitch. That creates one tentacle. Now we're going to do that again. Chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, then slip stitch into the front loop of your next stitch. When you single crochet into the front loop, or excuse me, when you slip stitch into the front loop, that forces your tentacles to kind of sit forward instead of under. So it's going to push the tentacles forward. And um, just as a quick review, if you're looking for the front loop, um, here you're going under both stitches, and this is a normal stitch, but the front loop is going to be the one closer to you when you work. So this is the front loop, and this is the back loop. All right, so let's continue working into that front loop. Chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from your hook to make that next tentacle. Then insert a slip stitch into the next front loop. And you're gonna do this all the way around. When you insert one tentacle into each of these eight stitches, you're going to end up with eight tentacles. Right, and when you reach the very end, what you would do at that point is um, you can go ahead and stuff your octopus. If you're using plastic safety eyes, you can attach those to the front of the octopus's head. I'm gonna use really small six millimeter eyes to do that. And there's no real right or wrong place to insert the eyes. I just put it wherever I think is cute. So I put mine between round one, two, three, four. Okay, between round three and four. And this is one, two, three. All right, between rounds three and four, three stitches apart. Now I'm gonna add some stuffing into the octopus um, after I do a couple decreases. Um, I find it easier to add the stuffing when the hole is smaller. That way my hook doesn't accidentally snag the stuffing. So right now we're gonna do the last round of the octopus and that is to close up the hole in the bottom. What you'll do is insert your hook into the front loops. Excuse me, sorry, not the front loops. We just worked into the front loop. So these are the back loops of round number, um, let me think, round number six. Sorry, the back loops that we created in round six. So we're going to insert our hook into those back loops and do a decrease. Okay. 
it's a little fiddly because you're going into um, decreasing right away instead of just single crocheting. So I'm just doing a regular decrease here. And I'm going into the back loops of the next two stitches and crocheting them together for another decrease. And right now it looks like the hole is pretty small. I'm going to use this opportunity to stuff my octopus before the hole gets way too small. I usually use a crochet hook, the end of a crochet hook, to help me stuff my amigurumis. It looks like we might not need this much stuffing after all. All right, so now after that, you are going to go ahead and um, continue decreasing around a bit here. I'm gonna insert hook into the next two stitches. You're basically going to decrease all the way around in this last round until you run out of stitches. And I'm just going to close it up over here like so. All right. When you finish the end, you're going to cut your yarn and you're going to weave in the ends. I'm just going to pull this yarn in through. The hole is already pretty small. If you feel like you want to um, actually stitch up your hole some more, you're welcome to do that. But I think uh, for mine, see it's not even, um, can't even see it there. So I'm just going to weave in my yarn ends and be done with my tiny baby octopus. All right, so there you have it. That was um, the quickest octopus I've ever made. Um, you can go ahead and crochet these little guys in just 10 minutes of time. Um, took me a little bit longer because I was explaining it, but um, typically if you're just going through the um, all seven of these rounds, it should take you no more than 10 minutes to do. All right, remember to check out the Big Mommy Octopus, um, which is also a free pattern linked in the description box below if you want to make a little family. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful one. Bye now.